Hello YouTube, what you are looking at right now is the back of my house. There's a sun porch on it and it's uh, not very good. Uh, it's either too hot or too cold and it doesn't work out for what we needed so we're taking it down. Um, it's a little video of you know how we're doing it and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm working on the back of the house. This used to be a sun porch. I tore it off and uh, I just rented this bad cat today from United Rentals. I got it for like $157, somewhere right around there. I got to cut this up into manageable pieces so I can load them uh, with the Kubota into the dump trailer there. So, uh, I don't know. I just figured I'd make a, a video of the experience because I've never run one of these before. Um, they explained it to me. Uh, it seemed pretty straightforward. So uh, here we go. We'll see how it works. I sped this video up eight times faster than it actually was because this is a really slow process. And uh, I don't know why I thought it would go a little bit faster. I mean, you're cutting concrete, so uh, you can't blow right through it. It takes time. But um, I, did, I did figure out uh, as I ran this machine... Um, easier ways to run it, how to be more productive, I, you know, how to move, how much, how much stress the machine can handle before, um, before it's too much. Like I was just creeping along here. This is eight times sped up. Uh, so you could see just how slow it was. I wasn't pushing that hard. Um, uh, but once you, once you get the hang of it, you'll start pushing a little harder. You can, you could tell when the engine starts getting stressed and I tried to keep it right before it was really getting stressed. And uh, it did a great job for me. Uh, I, I was able to cut this up in probably probably three and a half hours. And there are two by three sections somewhere around there. Um, I was shooting for three by three sections, but uh, it ended up being a little bit, little bit, a little bit smaller. I didn't want to stress the, the tractor uh, out too bad, so uh, I made them a little bit smaller. So far so good, uh, it's going to take some getting used to. Uh, I set the depth, apparently it's supposed to have an 18 inch blade on it. It has, uh, I don't know, maybe a 12 inch blade. So I set the depth at 7 inches, which looked like it wasn't, uh, didn't look like it was 7 inches deep. And it's about 2.5, and, and I think that concrete's about 4. So uh, for everything else, I'm going to have to drop it down to pretty much uh, 9 inches on the scale. So that will give me pretty much full penetration. But I am going, I should have put earplugs in before I started this. It's pretty loud. So I'm going to put some uh, earplugs on, check on the kids. And uh, I started uh, turning the water on and off because I don't know if you could see, but it seems like it was all rushing towards my house. And I'm not a big fan of that. So uh, I am going to pulse it on and off as I feel it needs water instead of just drowning it. Go put some earplugs on and uh, get at it some more. This picture is uh, I'm almost completely done with uh, the cutting of the saw, and you can see the, the size slabs I put it. This is the first piece coming out with the tractor. It came out pretty easy. I did struggle getting uh, getting them all scooped up, but you'll see in the video that's after this, I get a little more efficient with it. Where I'm at so far. <clears throat> I'm gonna set you up over here so you can watch.
it looked like after I was done. Thank you for watching. Please, uh, please subscribe. I appreciate uh, you watching.